Okay, first I want to apologize for any background noise on my voiceovers because I am doing laundry and that is just real life. But you want to start with these breadsticks I found at the Walmart bakery. Cut them open only about three-fourths of the way. Um, kind of open them up, make a little pocket, and then I added buffalo chicken. That's just shredded buffalo, or sorry, shredded chicken, buffalo sauce, a little bit of Greek yogurt, and some ranch seasoning powder. Mix it all together. Stuff it in the breadsticks, top with some mozzarella cheese, and then I baked them at 375 for about five to seven minutes. All right, so when they come out, this is what they look like. So delicious. I'm gonna have mine with some of the Boathouse Farms Classic Ranch. Okay, y'all, so for dinner tonight, we're having these Walmart breadsticks stuffed with zero point marinara, some turkey pepperoni, and some mozzarella. These are the breadsticks. You get them from Walmart Bakery Section. They're 80 calories a piece, and you can have two of them for five smart points. Okay, so I baked these for about five to seven minutes at 375 degrees, and I'm gonna dip mine in the Bullhouse Farms Ranch. Hey y'all, so for tonight's dinner, me and Morgan are gonna have spaghetti and meatballs. So. I am filming currently my meal prep, which is gonna be the Italian mini meatloafs with zero point marinara um, and hopefully funfetti pancake muffins. So check out that video, but we're like mid dinners video for y'all. And um, I am using about a pound of ground turkey. I used mm, like a third of a cup or like six-ish tablespoons of Parmesan, about a tablespoon or two of ranch, a little bit of parsley flakes, some Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. Um, and I've made a mixture that I'm gonna use for some turkey meatballs. You can add basil in here, you could do spinach, feta, anything you want, definitely make it your own, but we are gonna make some meatballs and I'm just going to bake them in the oven and we'll just heat them up um, with some sauce later when we're ready to eat. I'm in the kitchen, I'm already making a mess, so I just wanna get all of my cooking done now. So later, all you have to do is boil the noodles for spaghetti. And um, so this is my zero point marinara. You can go watch this meal prep video, or I do have a video dedicated to zero point marinara. You can look that up as well. Um, just Louise Lane zero point marinara or whatever should bring it up. Um, but I will try to link that plus the meal prep in this video and you can check that out. If you don't know how to make it, I think like you can really just Google it. There's tons of recipes, they're all basically the same. So do whatever you want, but I'm going to uh, make these meatballs real quick and we're gonna bake them for tonight. Okay, also tonight we're making chicken tacos. Super simple. Um, I'm using a chicken taco seasoning pack. I really like this one. I already diced up two chicken breasts. Lettuce and tomato, just enough for me because Morgan doesn't care for that on his tacos. Our favorite salsa, which is the Julio's Mild. Some queso. Whoops. And some picante sauce. I just saw this at HEB when I was picking up the taco seasoning. And I couldn't help myself, so I had to get this. Um... If you're not Texan, I'm real sorry, but this stuff is bomb. It's not uh, it's not spicy. It's just, like, delicious. Anyways, and then the Carb Sins Tortillas by HEB. These are literally the equivalent of the Mission um, Carb Balance. Same thing, same macros. I checked it, so it's literally the same thing. Um, and, yeah, they're only 45 calories a piece. They're about the size of my hand, so, like, fajita size. Um, and, yeah, they're just delicious. 
Okay, so first thing, we're literally just gonna throw this in to a big skillet with a little bit of Pam. Once, I like to wait on the seasoning until it's pretty much cooked through, that way I can just tell. And then while it's cooking, I'll salt pepper it and then cover it so that um, the center cooks through really well. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and preheat your oven so you can heat up your tortillas. Okay, y'all, I'm cooking with one hand because I cannot for the life of me. <laughs> Uh, figure out a good spot to put my camera. So here we go. I'm just gonna spray that with some olive oil pan spray. Then we're just going to dump in the chicken. This is about at a medium heat and we're just gonna salt, pepper. Once it's cooked, we'll add the seasoning. Okay, so the chicken is in. I added salt and pepper. Just gonna cover it and I'll stir it every couple of minutes. So I've turned my heat to low, dump this in there. Might add a little bit of water, we'll just see once I stir it. I think I'm gonna add just a teeny tiny bit, just a couple of tablespoons to get it to loosen up a little bit and we will be ready to eat. Also, I'm about to throw in the tortillas into the oven. Okay, y'all, so we've got our chicken here, all seasoned and delicious. I've got queso, tortillas. Normally I wrap them in foil, but we're out, so this is what I did, and it worked out fine. Salsa picante sauce, my little um, tomato and lettuce, a little bit of wine, which we're currently drinking, the Boda Box in Cab, which I can thank my friend Riley for. We like the Red Revolution, but she recommended the Cab, so we tried it and really like it. But we are about to make dinner and I'll show you the final product. Okay y'all, so tonight I'm gonna make these air fried ranch pork chops. I have never made these. I really actually don't think I've ever even made pork chops at all, so. This is new to me, but I saw this idea on Pinterest and I just had to give it a try. So, I think I'm just gonna cook all of them because I can get Morgan to eat the leftovers and I don't want them to go to waste. So, I'm just gonna pull these out so I can work with them. And uh, we're just gonna add salt, pepper, and ranch seasoning. And that is basically all. We're gonna throw them in the air fryer and it's gonna be delicious, hopefully. Okay, let me wash my hands and then we will season. Okay y'all, so this is what they look like after about six minutes. I'm gonna turn it over, let it go for probably another six. Yay! Okay y'all, so the other two are going. I'm gonna have two, this is 4.6 ounces. And I will tell you how many points that is on the screen. Okay y'all, so with these I was gonna be good and have some red potatoes these are zero points on the purple plan you guys i'm just too exhausted to cook potatoes tonight so this is what we're doing six points a little bit high i am dipping into my weeklies for these but it will be worth it i haven't touched them at all this week so i'm not too worried about it and yeah looking forward to trying these Okay y'all, I have this recipe and all of the other recipes from this video linked down below or typed out for you in the description box. But basically you just cook up your protein, turkey, turkey sausage, add an onion, seasonings, then you wanna drain off the fat and add some crushed tomatoes along with some more Italian seasonings. Let that simmer up. Then you wanna add chicken broth, that's what's in the background there. You can add it straight from the carton. I just make my own with the little cubes. Then you crunch up some lasagna noodles like break them up pour them in let that simmer until they are completely done it does take about 15 to 17 minutes 
added a cup of cheese. Stir that up. It gets nice and thick. And you guys, this is one of my favorite recipes. Definitely Morgan's favorite recipe. So give this one a try. That is all for today's video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Comment down below if you'd like to chat with me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.